What's up, Pride? Welcome back to another food review. Today we're going to be reviewing Mountain House freeze dried foods. I got rice and chicken right here. And I got lasagna with meat sauce. So uh, we're back at it again with another review. Sorry it took us so long to bring another review to you guys. Um, times have been tough. No, I'm just kidding. But um, lately I've been buying some new stuff for the channel, as you can tell by the quality of this camera. Uh, we got a new setup and a new camera, um, some new gear. We're gonna be buying more, so uh, just bear with us. All that good stuff, but we're back at it again. We're uh, a little tired of looking. Or a little it, red it's, looking. It's 12.30 right now, and uh, we're kind of tired. We've been outside all day in the sun, so you know you know how that goes. You just get all tired. And I think I'm getting sick and uh, not feeling too great, so I'm gonna drink a cup of tea after we do this, after we get our grub on and our review on. But without further ado, let's get into this Mountain House food review. Alright, so these are good for bug out bags, for camping, um, if you're a doomsday prepper. These have a really long shelf life. Mine is good until February of 2047. Uh, mine's good till March 2047. So they're gonna last you a really long time. They're pretty affordable. We got these at Walmart for around five bucks. Five bucks. So, you really can't go wrong with it. All you need is hot boiling water, let it sit for a couple of minutes, and you're good to go. Um, usually it takes about eight to nine minutes for these to cook, but here's a little tip for you guys. If you guys end up getting these, leave them for about 10 to 12 minutes, just so that everything's fully cooked and uh, fully hydrated again, um, because there have been a couple of reviews where we bit into some crunchy meat and that's not the best mm -hmm. so just let it cook longer in the water and stuff make sure the water is really hot too um just so you have a nice warm meal to eat so mine has six grams of protein and mine has 14 grams of protein you could actually go maybe to an army surplus store and get ones that are bigger that have like two to three. Yeah, we had one that had like four servings or something like that. Yeah, but these ones like at Walmart, one. they only have one. That's good enough for us because it's really late at night. As my brother said, from our past food reviews, we've learned to maybe let the water sit for a little longer in this. Make sure that you guys stir it thoroughly in between. Um, times so we usually let it go for about 10 minutes to 12 minutes so every five to six minutes we stir it and close it back up and let it sit um you can even let it sit for 15 if you just want to be on the safe side and you don't want to bite into anything crunchy um all you do is you add two thirds of a cup of hot boiling water into this and you're good to go so that's exactly what we're going to do and yeah, we'll see how these are. Okay, so now we're gonna open these bad boys up and get right into it. And it says it's an easy thing, but it's freaking not. That's a time. There we go. That was easy. <laughs> kind of. Oh, okay, that looks kind of funny. Let me see. Oh. These things? Right here? Tell me. All I could think of is seafood when I look at this. I just think of clams or whatever those things are. Here. Oh yeah, that smells like it's gonna be good. Uh, my face probably didn't look like it's gonna be good because <laughs> it's tomatoey. <laughs> right here, search real quick. Yeah, we're gonna let this one sit because it's rice and chicken. So you're gonna let this one sit for a while. You could smell like Parmesan cheese in this. What's in this? It's literally just chicken and rice? No, it looked like there was like carrot or something in it. Okay, I see now. Oh, yeah, cheese. Right there is the uh, lasagna thing. They look like little bite-sized parts. 
So it looks pretty good. Sorry if my hand's shaky. Right here is the rice and chicken. As you can see, there's some chicken bites, some rice, and it's going out of focus and back in. Um, there's some carrots or something like that. But yeah, there's your close up. So we're gonna put hot boiling water in these, let them sit for like 10 to 12 minutes, and we'll be right back. But like always, it'll be a second for you guys. We are back with the food. It's nice and heated. It's been sitting there for about 12 minutes. I don't know, we didn't even keep jacket. But it's been in there for a while. So we're gonna open it up, smell it real good. <laughs> And uh, dig right in. So first impressions, this looks like a bowl. It looks soupy to me. Looks like it's like supposed to be a marinara sauce. <laughs> marinara? <laughs> hey, come on, Let me smell yours. Mine smells like chicken noodle soup, kind of. Mm. It smells, mm. it smells pretty good. It smells good. It smells like mozzarella and... <laughs> Shut up. I can't stand when you say it like that. <laughs> That's how you say it. <laughs> There's an A at the end of it. No, it's not. It's just not Lydia Bastani. I, I don't care about no Lydia, whatever her name is. <laughs> right here it's spelled M-O-Z-Z-A-R-E-L-L-A. Yes, but it's, it's not mozzarella. No, it's mozzarella. I even said it weird. It's mozzarella. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I think mine smells it's like... It's mozzarella. <laughs> mozzarella. Alright, All right. so we're going to pour these on paper plates. We don't want to pull out like the MRE trays because we don't. it's not an MRE. We don't want to take up a whole tray just for one thing of food. So we didn't want to dirty dishes either. So we're just going to use paper plates. Okay. So, but be on the lookout for MRE. We're yeah. Gonna, we're gonna have that coming soon. Yeah, we'll be ordering one soon. Oh yeah, I like that. It just, the way that poured out didn't look too pleasing. At least the way I thought it'd be. About these cool little spoon things. They come in. Yeah, they come on those. So like you got all your utensils in one ring. So invest in one of those if you guys are like campers or backpackers, whatever they call those things. So there is what the chicken and rice looks like. It's what the lasagna looks like. Kind of, sorry if my hand's shaky to you. If you hear a noise in the background, my homeboy's over there watching a movie with my dog. So that's what it is. If you hear anything, or if you heard anything, I don't know. Anyway, let's get into this grub time. time. Yeah, you can, you can try right, I'm gonna twist. go first. Oh god, it might be good because I love lasagna. <laughs> Is it good or bad? Confused. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna give him my rating right, like right off the bat. Okay. All right, so here's my rating. I'm gonna give it about a. Let's do it out of five stars. Five's really good, and one's really bad. I'm gonna give it about a three. Wow, that doesn't sound too good. Three guys. I'm what? picky with like. All right, so lasagna. I oh, don't know. Like lasagna has to have like really good sauce. Really good and cheese. have good flavor, yeah, good cheese and all that. And this is like kind of, mm. it's kind of, hey. Eh. <laughs> okay. Oh, let me take another bite real quick. Mm. All right. <laughs> Guys, now I'm going to try mine. Okay, from a one to a five. I give this a four. It's actually pretty good. Um, has a good flavor. Is it nice and soft? Is a question. I think so. All right. This um, one was pretty soft too. I didn't. I didn't get no crunch or nothing like that. Like nothing bad. It's just the flavor is kind of off a little bit. 
Can I? But like I said, I'm picky with lasagna. But anyway, this is her part, so I'm gonna let her talk now. <clears throat> I can't really figure out what these red things are. I think they're tomatoes. I think they're capers. Whatever that is, tomato, tomato, caper, capato. Yeah, I think these are capers. So they really don't have a flavor. But it has like a good, like if you guys have ever had chicken and rice soup, pretty good. That's kind of what it is, just obviously not soupy. But it's pretty good. Let me just try another. And then we're gonna try the others, other person's food. So on this scoop, I got some chicken and everything on it. Uh, here we go. This one's better. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Mine is better. Um, this one doesn't have any like really. It has tomato flavor very subtle flavor of but it doesn't like give you that pow yeah it has a very subtle like parmesan and mozzarella flavor but it needs salt it's like really bland mozzarella <laughs> it's mozzarella la no um it kind of tastes like a frozen like one of those frozen like tv oh, okay. tv dinner kind of Lasagnas, just really blend. It needs a lot of salt. On the chicken and rice noodle thing, I don't know what it's called. Whatever it's called, um, I give this about a four out of five. Good flavor, nice and soft. I mean, it has enough salt and stuff like that. That, on the other hand, still three, maybe even two point five. Um, yeah, I'd probably give this a 2.5 out of 5. It needs salt. It need, needs more flavor and stuff. But this, good flavor. Um, it would have been a 5 if it was warmer. But I think it's on our side that it took us so long to eat it. And we have two air conditioning. Yeah, we have air conditioning on, on so. right now. So it got cold pretty quick. But yeah, pretty good. We're going to go Now, um... I'm gonna try to lighten it up with some salt and pepper and see if that brings the rating up a bit. Salt. Pepper. Why would you put pepper in lasagna? I don't know. <laughs> I just thought pepper would be good. Mm -hmm. Better. Yep, that brought it up. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this review. We hope you guys enjoyed it and you learned some stuff from it or it just made you curious and you guys want to go out and try it on your own. Let us know if you do in the comments below. Keep an eye out for the MRE review. We're going to be doing that pretty soon. And the countdown to our vlog extravaganza oh, for yeah, vacation baby. is now 48 days away. So be on the lookout for that. It's going to be great. So for you guys, it'll be about 50-ish days, 49 days, till you get the first vlog out. Then you're going to have to wait a week or two, and then we'll get the rest out. Uh, we'll explain it in a future video, but that's just the gist of it. If you guys haven't already, please go follow our Instagram, uh, our official TMC Instagram right here. Uh, so head over to Instagram, add us, and if you haven't already, again, uh, click that subscribe button and that notification bell. It'll notify you every time we make a new video. Um, hopefully we can get this out to you as quick as we can. Um, so bear with us, guys. Um, things in life happen, so we're getting as much out as we can. Um, and one more thing, comment down below if you guys have any suggestions for a challenge video or anything like that. Uh, so comment any challenges you want to see. And uh, keep your head up. Keep your heart strong. Bless, Bless up. up.
Now, if you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that, and that ain't you. You're better than that.